Saint Paphnutius. Feast Day, September 11th. The Life of Saint Paphnutius, A Journey of Faith and Resilience. In the heart of ancient Egypt, during a time when Christianity was emerging from the shadows of persecution, the life of Saint Paphnutius unfolded as a testament to unwavering faith and unyielding devotion. His story is one of remarkable transformation, enduring torture, and pivotal involvement in the early Christian Church. Chapter 1 The Desert Disciple Long before his name became synonymous with piety, Paphnutius was a young man in search of spiritual enlightenment. He embarked on a pilgrimage to the arid deserts of Egypt, guided by the wisdom of the revered Saint Anthony of the Desert. Under the guidance of this ascetic pioneer, Paphnutius found purpose and meaning in a life of solitude and prayer. Chapter 2 The Shepherd of Souls Paphnutius's steadfast commitment to the monastic way of life did not go unnoticed. He was called to a higher purpose and ordained as a bishop for the Upper Thebaid region. As a shepherd of souls, Paphnutius embraced his new role with humility, sharing the teachings of Christ and offering solace to the burgeoning Christian community. Chapter 3 The Persecution and Endurance the winds of change swept through Egypt as Maximinus Dea, the Roman imperial ruler, intensified his efforts to suppress Christianity. Paphnutius faced brutal persecution, enduring the unimaginable pain of having his left leg mutilated and his right eye put out. Through the darkest hours of suffering, his faith remained unshaken. Chapter 4 From Darkness to Dawn in the ever-shifting landscape of Roman politics, the tide turned. Emperor Constantine, having embraced Christianity, decreed its legality, and the reign of Maximinus Dea came to an end. Paphnutius survived the ordeal and found himself in the presence of the first Christian leader of the Roman Empire, who showed respect by kissing the wound where his eye had once been. Chapter 5 Defender of Tradition at the First Ecumenical Council of Nicaea, Paphnutius's role became pivotal. He stood alongside other church leaders in the condemnation of Arianism and the promulgation of the Nicene Creed. Amid the debates and theological turmoil that followed, Paphnutius remained steadfast, defending the doctrine of Jesus' eternal pre-existence as God. Chapter 6 A Battle Against Heresy the struggle against Arianism continued. Paphnutius, with the unwavering support of St. Athanasius of Alexandria, found himself at the Regional Council of Tyre in 335. He was dismayed to see a fellow bishop, Maximus of Jerusalem, aligning with Arian clergy. Paphnutius's heartfelt persuasion led Maximus back to the side of orthodoxy. Chapter 7 A Life of Unknown Ends As the sands of time continued to shift, the exact year of Paphnutius's birth and death remained shrouded in mystery. He was neither to be confused with another prominent Egyptian monk of the same name nor with the Paphnutius commemorated in the Eastern Churches on April 19. His legacy, however, lived on as an enduring symbol of faith and resilience. St. Paphnutius's life, from the barren deserts of Egypt to the hallowed halls of the Nicene Council, exemplified the transformative power of faith, the endurance of persecution, and the unwavering commitment to the Christian tradition. His story continues to inspire generations with its enduring message of steadfast devotion. Folded hands looking for daily inspiration from the lives of saints? Subscribe to our channel dedicated to the wisdom and stories of the saints and let their divine guidance fill your heart. Open Book Glowing Star Experience the serenity and blessings in their tales, and take a moment to send your warmest blessings in the comments section. Spread the love and share the video on your social networks, along with these three hashtags. Hashtag Saintly Wisdom Hashtag Divine Inspiration Hashtag STPafnusius Blessings
Receive the blessings of St. Paphnutius and let his enduring faith illuminate your journey.